And we'll be back on Monday. In the meantime, have the best weekend with the ones that you love, and we'll see you then. Now, that was Tucker Carlson on Friday. And Fox News releases a statement, and they want us to believe that this was a mutual departing. Isn't Tucker Carlson your number one show on there? You don't fire your number one quarterback, right? Without good reason. You got to do something bad in order for you to get fired when you're the top rated. He's the top rated person over there. You mean to tell me it's mutual for you to fire your starting quarterback? Or is anybody buying that? He got fired. This wasn't mutual. See, mutual means that we give you a chance, we throw you a party. This is how they do get the jobs when they when they're about to either do it, let a bunch of people go, they walk you out with your with your with your material like this. They follow you out like you're a, a criminal or something. Because they want to make sure that you're not able to do anything. They're not gonna tell you they're finna dismiss you. Tucker Carlson had no clue he was gonna get dismissed, so don't give me this mutual thing. Now, whether the conservatives say that Tucker Carlson don't need them. This is the question I've been saying the whole time. Why was Tucker Carlson even allowing Fox to control him if he didn't need the money? Because Tucker don't need the money. He got plenty of money. Eventually, he'll do like Bill O'Reilly because he took over for Bill O'Reilly. He'll do like Bill O'Reilly. He'll start his own thing or whatever. Didn't he used to have part owner in Daily Caller too? But what this means is that you want me, oh, by the way, Don Lemon got fired too. I think CNN waited until Tucker got fired. They may have got together. They said this is a prime example to get rid of Don Lemon. His ratings suck. They should have fired Don Lemon a long time ago. But you're going to tell me that you mutually agreed to fire your best show. It doesn't even make any damn sense. Does that make any sense to you? Everybody's saying, well, I wonder does it have something to do with the Dominion law. So of course it does. The hell is you talking about? I don't think they're finished either. Fox may go full liberal. Now, they still got that blowhard Sean Henry over there who sometimes gives the worst interviews because he interrupts people nonstop. He will not shut up. People be trying to make a good point. Sean Henry, he got to let you know that he repeats stuff like this. I love Sean Henry. But uh, now, you you know, I, I've, I've said some things about Tucker Carlson. Don't, I don't recant anything because Tucker Carlson... Two things. It's, there's two issues I had with Tucker Carlson. Now I'm. I don't want. To, I didn't want Tucker Carlson to get fired because that's the liberals winning. No, that's the liberals winning there. I didn't watch. I didn't watch Fox News, but that would have been the liberals winning. Tucker Carlson has the highest rated show on cable TV for his news. But this is the thing that gets to me when Tucker Carlson. Sean Hennigan had it too. They had the information with Hunter Biden's laptop. T Tucker said he didn't want to kick a man when he was down. Hate to bring it up, but I'm bringing it up again. Also, remember when uh, Kevin McCarthy gave Tucker that tape with the footage? He did one day of footage. Whatever happened to the rest of the damn footage? The people at Fox News told him not to talk about it anymore. And he's, uh, he's not going to be able to talk for a while now. At least, was it like six months to a year? They usually give you a service pay with the agreement you cannot release any statements about us. If he can ever actually release any statements about them. So, Fox News paid 780 some million dollars to Dominion. And guess what? They were actually right about it. And they still paid the damn money. Because they, they didn't want certain people to testify. That's include Murdoch. He, it's, it, is, is he, when is he going to die? Was he like 95, 92, whatever he is? He looks like he's already been embalmed anyway. But this is liberals winning. See, now what they're going to do, why don't the conservatives go sue CNN, Miss NBC? Why didn't Donald Trump and the rest of them sue CNN and Miss NBC for Russian collusion? See, you should have sued them. How is it possible that these, these left-winging people have the balls to go sue? If I was Donald Trump, I'm hiring lawyers. I'm suing every day. I'd already sued them. Kyle Rittenhouse. I'd have been like them. Was that little Sandman guy? I'd have sued the socks off of them. They lied about Russian collusion the whole damn time. If I was Donald Trump, I'd have sued Hillary. Personally, I'd have sued uh, Barack Obama, that administration, James Comey. I'll sue all of them personally, and then I go sue CNN, Miss NBC, the rest of them, because they lied, willfully lied about it. We can prove they lied about it. 
Russian collusion, but why did there nobody got sued over that? If you say, just say, because behind the scenes, I told you that Tucker Carlson and, and especially Tucker and um, Laura Ingram was uh, saying they didn't believe anything. And uh, let's not forget the fact, everybody wants to forget the fact uh, that Tucker Carlson says that Donald Trump was a demon force. That's what he said. Who are you? 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 I'm going to interrupt my dialogue. We'll get back to that. But I want to just read some of the things that Donald, that uh, Tucker Carlson has said about Donald Trump. And some of the things he said in private that was different than what he said in public. And I'm sure he said worse than this. When Donald Trump's lawyers was arguing about overturning the election, Tucker tweet, tweeted that Trump is just sitting there doing nothing. He said, I learned this is his tweet. I've learned this morning he's sitting back letting them lose the Senate. In other words, losing the Senate is Donald Trump. And then Tucker Carlson says he doesn't care. He said, I care. I got four kids. That's what Tucker Carlson said. You got plenty of money, son. Then Tucker Carlson tweeted November the 13th, 2020. This is about how many days after? The, about seven days after the election. Tucker Carlson tweeted, he's only good at destroying, talking about Donald Trump. He says that um, Donald Trump challenging the election, he's playing with fire. Then on January the 4th, 2021, Tucker Carlson expressed anger towards Trump. He said, we are very, very close to being able to ignore Trump most nights. And that I truly cannot wait for. In other words, all the stuff they did with Donald Trump to bring him down, Tucker Carlson says that I can't wait to get rid of him. See, this is what I'm saying. You're dealing with weak men. These men are so weak that whenever a real fight comes along, they want to hurry up and get rid of it. See, these liberal demons, they still fight. I don't need that kind of guy fight with me. I want to know when the fighting gets tough, you still run up. I want the Gideon kind of fellas who lap the water by looking up like a bunch of dogs. That's the kind of guy I want with me in the foxhole. Not a guy who's looking a way to lay down. When somebody attack you, I ain't looking to lay down when you attack me. See, some people are looking for an easy way out. As long as people patting you on the back saying you're doing a great job. But when a real fight comes along, Tucker calls it. They're acting like these people weren't actually phony Russian collusion, phony impeachment. They're acting like Donald Trump cr created this problem. This isn't a problem Donald Trump created. These bastards created this problem. And then he says that this is the this is um, Tucker Carlson again in his tweets addressing Trump's four years as president. This is what Tucker Carlson says. We are all pretending we got a lot to show for it. Talking about Donald Trump for four years because admitting what a disaster it's been is too tough to digest. He says four years of Donald Trump has been a total disaster. All these conservatives are acting like Tucker Carlson was really out there fighting. Tucker Carlson is a coward. That's a fact. Now, I'm not saying he should have got fired, but he's a coward. Just so is Fox News. So is Sean Hannity. You got too many people. See, when these Democrats want to fight, they don't, they don't back down. I mean, no, they don't back down at all. They just keep going. As soon as I side get into a little scuffle or something, all of a sudden they get afraid. They get scared. They start backpaddling. And last about the least, and we'll get back to our regular uh, uh, broadcast <laughs> commentary, because I wanted to read this. I just thought about this. Tucker Carlson tweeted that Donald Trump, he's a demonic force, a destroyer. I don't know how you can sugarcoat that. In other words, anybody who supports him is following a demonic force, a destroyer. What has Fox News done then? How has Fox News saved the country then? What has Fox News done really? Has anybody been arrested? Hell no. Not one single person. We can say that Donald Trump gave you three Supreme Court justices, which I don't have much confidence in that, but if you want to argue that point, he's trying to build a wall, but there was constant. From phony uh, uh, Russian collusion to impeachment after impeachment after impeachment, how in the hell can you get anything done with all the stuff they've done? And he still got quite a bit done. These judges that he was appointed, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't have that much confidence in the system anyway. But I just wanted to chime in to get you some of the things that Tucker Carlson has said.
This is what he said in private because he ain't got to go. See, whatever I say in private, I say in public. I don't got to try to sugarcoat or worry about what somebody else is going to think. If you man enough to say it in private, damn it, say it in public. Don't start kissing up to people. That would be, how would I look kissing up to uh, Barack Obama or Joe Biden acting like I'm their friends on the air? I don't like them, and I'm not going to ever pretend like I do like them for no amount of money and no amount of safety. I'd rather go to jail or die than pretend like I like Barack Obama, uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, or, or Joe Biden. I despise them. I can't fake that hard. My nigga. <laughs> this is not what I said. Don't get mad. You got mail. I'm just a messenger. I'm going to report the news. I don't care who gets upset about it. That's what my job is to report news. But now the liberals are winning because anytime they don't like something you're saying, they didn't allow all the information. Nobody ever got the chance to really examine the Dominion uh, uh, computers, did they? The voting machines. Did anybody, I mean, a, a secret, a separate, independent investigate? That never happened, right? Thank you. So they had times to, to, to get rid of any uh, information that would make them look bad, right? Thank you. So I'm not buying that right there. So my question is, why did Fox News settle? Now all of a sudden, all this shake up on a Monday. They did not know. And Dan Bongino can lie and say that he it was mutual as a lie. I don't believe you. See, when you start lying like that, I'm going to stop believing anything you say. Don't lie to me. Fox News is lying. It was not mutual. Friday, when Tucker left the show, just played the clip for you. Tucker left the show. He said he'd be back on Monday. Damn it. I think it was at the Heritage Foundation or some over the weekend when I was reading. But this was not mutual. And it had something to do with the Dominion lawsuit. It had something to do with Paul Ryan. He was a piece of trash. I tell you, these rhinos, y'all got to get rid of these rhinos. See, compromise will get you this. See, if you had just been brutally honest about everything and went full-fledged, they could have got exposed easily. But you have a criminal organization running the DOJ. A criminal organization running the FBI. See, this is why when you get in charge, you got to go full throttle. Put your foot on the gas and don't stop. You know, I'm listening to all these so-called conservatives telling us that, well, it's, it, it was it was probably mutual. Tucker, he wanted to leave because they didn't want him to do some. They had nothing to do with it. They fired it. Let's just be honest. Everybody gets fired. I'm sure almost everybody listening got fired before, right? But my question is, uh, do you really think it has nothing to do with Dominion? These people are speculating. We don't know if it has something to do with Dominion. They just got sued for almost a billion dollars almost. <laughs> and uh, he gets he gets canned three or four days later. De uh, 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 Dan Bangino, he's out too. Is Laurie Ingham gone? Notice that Sean Hennedy has been over there the longest. You know why? Because he's a blowhard and an ass kisser. That's who Sean Hennedy is. He's a fraud. That's why he's always having Lindsey Graham and all these Carl Rowe and all these liberal uh, rhino Republicans on there. He's a piece of trash, Sean Hennedy is. He's a blowhard. He repeats the same thing over and over again. When it's really time to have uh, some type of fortitude, Sean Hennedy disappears. He has no testicular, how you say that? Testicular uh, fortitude. <laughs> None whatsoever. He ain't got no balls. Put it like that. He just don't. He's a blowhole. He interrupts his guests all the time, but they say Fox News stock dropped. But I guess, guess what? I bet he's going to raise back up. You know why? Because conservatives are too damn forgiving on people who's trying to destroy them. See, this is one of the mistakes that Tucker Carlson made, trying to kiss butt uh, with the, uh, and try to be politically correct. Then he came out with all guns blazing. No, you had to do that before t for the election. Y'all had a bunch of information. Sean Hennedy had a copy of laptop. Now Sean Hennedy is constantly talking about the laptop, this laptop. That Didn't you have a copy of it? Because the information I got, you had a copy of it. That means Fox News had a copy of it, but they did nothing with that laptop that now we all know that everybody was lying, including Anthony Blinken. So Don Lemon is out, and he's, Don Lemon is upset. 17 years, you, you've been there 17 years too long, Don Lemon. Technically speaking, I want you to pay attention to this. All the all these people who was trashing Donald Trump at CNN, every last one of them is gone. But see, that wasn't really no news when they shook up CNN because it's trash anyway. One guy leave Tucker Carlson, and all these liberals are celebrating. 
All these liberals are saying how happy they are. Nobody's upset with Don Lemon leaving. I think CNN waited to the to uh, Tucker Carlson got fired and said this is a good chance to fire Don Lemon. Is it a coincidence that both got fired on the same day? And they didn't even tell Don Lemon this. His agent told him. So he went, I think, Instagram or something. You done made too much money too, clown. See, he was in the witness protection program because he was black and gay. They couldn't fire him. So now they decided, let's go ahead and fire the dumbest man on cable TV. Being queer and black did not save you finally. He's too dumb anyway. I mean, I guess that the Nikki Haley comment was the last straw for them. They was looking for a reason. Plus, he ain't nothing but a drama queen anyway. Nobody likes to work with him because he's too much of a damn drama queen. They got a gay black man on CNN. He's constantly playing race card and gay card and everything else. How the hell is you making all this money then? If it's such discrimination against you, clown, come on, come off the cross now. Quit pretending like you're the one who's been afflicted so much. Glad you got fired, Don Lemon, piece of trash, you. Anyway, I digress. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Fox News fired Tucker Carlson. Can we be intellectually honest just for one time? Can Republicans be intellectually honest for one time? Stop pretending like it was mutual. Tucker don't need the money. Tucker got plenty of damn money. I mean, that ain't even the issue right there. He can go start his own program. Uh, that ain't going to be no problem either. I don't know if there's going to be a clause. He got to wait six months or whatever. Severance pay. Kind of like they did Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly been writing his books now. He was, But Bill O'Reilly left because he was sexually harassing some people. That's why Bill O'Reilly left. But uh, I'm, uh, I don't know. Tucker got plenty of money. See, you all... You ought to be worried about all these people they've destroyed their lives who ain't got all the damn money. But this just proves who Fox is. I've been trying to tell y'all, this is who Fox is. All these conservatives going, we're not going to watch them anymore. Some of y'all said the same damn thing in 2020. You kept watching them. If they're not, if they're going to, because the, the board is completely liberal, left wing as you ask me. At least Tucker sometimes had a plan, uh, he would report some. It was after the fact, though. See, I'm still pissed off about 2020. Y'all should have did that then. But uh, why did and why didn't he uh, release more of that tape from uh, that Kevin McCarthy had gave to him? Does anybody ask him that question? What's the rest of that damn footage? Somebody told him not to do it anymore. And now, so he had just had an interview with uh, uh, former President Donald Trump. Still technically still current president. Uh he had a he had a a sit down with him and then all of a sudden they fired a number one guy. And they say it's mutual. That don't even make no damn sense sense right there. I'm not firing my number one guy unless he did something really, really bad. Because a starting quarterback or a star athlete can do all kinds of stuff and they'll just ignore it. Be on drugs and everything, or they just be ignoring it. So Fox News says that this is mutual. We thank him for his service, but get the hell out of here is what they're saying. We thank him for his service, but we're not going to let him say goodbye to his audience. This is how they fire people. You see people who get fired at these companies and stuff, they walk them out. Get security, they walk you out. They ain't letting you come back up in here. I don't know who actually told him, probably his agent too. But they don't let you come back and they walk you out. Here's your stuff. Come on. Nice. And here's your parting gift. I don't know what the service pay is, but I'm pretty... I don't know how much Tucker, what Tucker make a year, what, 15 million probably a year? He got plenty of money. Money ain't even the issue. That's why I don't understand why they weren't actually talking because they got plenty of money. I'm, I'm not talking about making up stuff. I'm saying like just reporting facts, like factual things you can actually prove. And don't go texting different things that you say on air because that's not going to come across too well because you know people can actually go get your text messages, right? Don't know if you knew it or not, but people can go get your text messages. Just saying. 